Behold, the days come, see if the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor for thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahbashim Yashai. Shalom. First off, give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yashai, by Shem Rekarkadash, the partners to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are there in truth and sincerity in the women, the children, and the confusion of faith who follow. So, as you can see, we wanted to uh, go in on the confusion of, no, confusion of faith, excuse me, the famine of the word. We're living in the last times, the last days, and we we're living in what I would explain as a watered down YouTube, a watered down social media presence. When you go back to 2008, 2009, 2010, you know, you had a lot more access to knowledge. The Most High is closing off the breaches. He's sealing that door, so to speak, like Noah. You know, when Noah entered into the ark, the Most High put a seal on it so that no water can get in, so that no one else could get in, so that no one else could get out. And the Lord is closing up the work that we're doing here. I just wanted to get a couple articles, and uh, I'll explain why why I'm getting these articles. Last night, I attempted to go down a rabbit hole. You know, um, us being teachers, we be in need for milk. So, I wanted to go down like a elite banking family, Illuminati rabbit hole. You know, just to eat as much information as possible. But in my attempt to do that, <laughs> there's really not a lot of information that's out there. Now, I remember the rabbit hole that I went into, you know, back in uh, like 2009, 2010, which eventually led me to this truth. And a lot of those videos are not available anymore. You know, you you could have a... They, there was like a 30-part series going in on the Freemasons, hip-hop, and um, the Illuminati, and all that kind of information. But it's no longer available. Why is that? Because the Most High is causing this famine of the word. He's causing this famine, not just of the words of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshai. There's a famine of information. And this word is not for everybody. Okay? The way the the elder in our camp, you know, Rabbi Moff, the way he explained it was, was beautiful. And, you know, I'll quote him, you know, a lot of the stuff that's going on right now, a lot of the information that's coming out isn't for YouTube, isn't for a lot of the people to know. It's for brothers to share amongst each other. So that's why there's a lot of information that's not available to the public because it's not for everybody. With that being said, I do want to go in on this knowing that you know it's not for everyone and i'm going to show you how systematically the powers to be or the powers that are ruling right now have chopped that information they've deleted that information and it's easy for them to do it. And this is the first article I got. And it's from uh, from back in January. It's from Wired.com. Both of these articles are from Wired.com. It says social media bans are really actually shockingly common. And we know that for firsthand 
We get our videos deleted all the time. We get channels deleted all the time. You know, you I've seen brothers on a 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 20th, 25th, 34th page. Because they do not want this information to come out. But it's not just our information that's coming out and being deleted and being censored. Before I go into that, let's, let's, let's jump into this article a bit. It says, social media bans are really actually shockingly common. Booting Trump didn't set a precedent from Yelp to Uber to Airbnb. Platforms regularly ban users and content, but too often they do it behind the scenes. So we've seen Donald Trump get boosted off of social media. He wasn't even the first. Alex Jones, if you remember Alex Jones, he made a lot of conspiracy uh, videos. He had videos about the Bohemian Grove. That video is no longer available on YouTube. None of Alex Jones or InfoWar videos are available on YouTube. A lot of our videos are not available on YouTube. Anything that's a, quote, conspiracy theory, I don't even know if I can say that. These videos are not available on YouTube. It says Donald Trump's account may have been banned on Twitter, Facebook, and a host of other platforms. It says every last one of at real Donald Trump's 47,000 tweets vanished from the site in an instant. It's that easy for them to delete your content. And like I said, they did it with him. They did it with Alex Jones. They're doing it with us repeatedly. The difference is we can make a new page. We can use the backup page. They couldn't. They're too much of a public figure. But this thing... You know, the, the scriptures say if this was a man, it would come to naught. But because this is spiritual, because this is of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, it can't come to naught. And I'm going to put link both of these uh, articles into the description. I want to jump into the middle of this one. This, um, this is actually from like 2019, I believe. But, uh,. It says, YouTube's plot to silence conspiracy theories. Okay. It goes in starting about, you know, Flat Earth and this, this, that, and the third. Because all videos are being deleted. Okay. After the 2016 election, the tech industry came in for a reckoning. Critics slaced into Facebook's algorithm for boosting conspiratorial rants and hammered Twitter for letting its phalanxes of Russian bots. Scrutiny of YouTube emerged a bit later. In 2018, a UC Berkeley computer scientist named Hany Farid teamed up with Guilherme Shazlot to run a scraper again. To run a, to run a scraper again. This time. They ran uh, the program daily for 15 months, looking specifically for how often YouTube recommended conspiracy videos. They found the frequency rose throughout the year uh, at the peak. Nearly 1 in 10 videos recommended were conspiracies fair. So they say when 1 in 10 is recommended, how many of those are our videos? Because you have, you know, the elect pumping out videos daily from the four corners. A lot of those videos are our videos. As well as, you know, Alex Jones or whoever you want to say. It says, uh, it turns out 
that the human nature is awful, Fareed tells me. Well, why is human nature awful? For questioning? I, I doubt if there's even 9-11 videos still out there. These 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 guys are covering their tracks. They hate, number one, that YouTube or the internet was even invented. Because it gives a regular everyday Joe a chance to expose them. It says, to skip ahead, it says, uh, from 2006 to, to, to 2009, is they, uh, it is really they are addicted to that traffic. It said that people were addicted to these type of videos because it's the first time they got actual truth in their life from people on the ground, not from the tell the television where you know they tell you the vision that they want you to see, not from these news outlets where they tell you what. The elites tell them to tell you, but from an everyday guy in his basement doing research who can see the BS or from an insider who can see the BS or from a prophet who is in the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashai, reading and breaking down the scriptures unto you, telling you that the destruction of America is coming, telling you about Jacob's trouble, telling you who you are in the spirit and forewarning you of the World War III. This is the first time in their life that they're experiencing this. That's why they were addicted to it. Since YouTube executives deny that the bill on our push led to push led to a, a banquet of conspiracies. It says we don't see any, we don't see evidence that extreme content or misinformation is on average more engaging or generates more viewership than anything else. So they, they deny the, the viewership and we know that they hide the views. We know that they suppress the numbers. We know that, um, the elder, as well as another brother, did videos where they responded to a, or they liked a comment and went all the way back up the screen and then came back down and the comment was unliked. So we know that, you know, they're messing with the algorithm, that they're messing with the viewership and that we really are getting a lot more views than people claim. I've even heard a lot of people no, not a lot of people. I say certain brothers say that they watch our videos. But when you look at our video viewership, you know, we might have seven videos or seven seven views, ten views. If you get 25 views on my page, that's that's a, a good watch video. But that doesn't match up with the narrative. We know that the elect is watching these videos. We know that this word is going out. So I wanted to talk about this and I can attest to this because I did a video concerning this event and it was deleted. I remember it had well over 100,000 views. It says just 12 hours after the shooting and this is speaking of the shooting in Las Vegas. Matter of fact, let me jump up a little bit. In October 1st, 2017, when a man used an arsenal of weapons to fire into a crowd of people at a concert in Las Vegas, YouTuber users immediately began uploading false flag videos claiming the shooting was orchestrated to form it opposition to the Second Amendment. And I was one of those that did that because it was so blatant that you know, they weren't even really trying at that point.
just 12 hours after the shooting, George Samick arrives for his first day as a productive, as a product manager at YouTube. For several days, he and his team were running ragged trying to identify fabulous videos and delete them. And he was told, and, and he, it's like he, I have a mess, something's messed up with my computer. It's kind of tough to read sometimes. It's like he, and, uh, he was, uh, he was surprised on how little was in place to manage the crisis like this. When I asked him, uh, what the experience felt like, he sent a clip of Tim Robbins being screamed at as his new uh, mailroom hire in Hudson's Proxy. Uh, I guess that's a movie or something. I'm not sure. The recommendation system was apparently making the making things worse, as BuzzFeed reporters found. Even three days after the shooting, the system was still promoting videos like proof, media, and law enforcement are lying. So they had to change the algorithm at that point. And that was a turning point in 2017. Now they have a new system. I can say it was a challenging first day, Samick told me dryly. Frankly, I don't think our site was performing super well in misinformation. Now they're saying it's misinformation. How do you know? So is YouTube... The all-knowing is YouTube. Do we have to go to YouTube to get truth and only truth? There's no opposition media. We just have to go with what the official word is saying. It's just automatically labeled as you know misinformation. And that's how you can tell that there's a bias because YouTube decides what's misinformation and what is accurate information. Which is why we get our videos taken down. Which is why we are victims of this as well. But we're really not victims because guess what? This is all in the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai because he's, he's not allowing that information to be readily available anymore slowly but surely he's tearing down bit after bit after bit so that his name can be magnified in the streets eventually when all this breaks down when there are no videos when we can't when I can't upload this video and his word is no longer available out here when we can't go on the corners and and speak at that time when the enemy should come in like a flood the Lord will lift up a standard against him let's get that Isaiah 59 and 19, it says, So they should for the name of the Lord from the west and the glory of the rising sun, and the glory from the rising sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay, this man is going to, he's going to roll eventually on all these so-called conspiracy theorists. They have what's called the red list the blue list, and the green list. And if you're on that red list, if you're watching this video, if you've ever watched a so-called Hebrew Israelite video, or if you watched a, probably a 9-11 video, an Alex Jones video, they got a question about you. Is this guy going to comply to our system? Is this man going to be down with this new world order? And 
And if not, they're going to roll. And when they roll on the men of the Lord, that's going to be the beginning of the end for them. Like I said, this famine of the word is readily upon us. It's been in the making. Been in the making. Let me see if there's anything left I wanted to get out of this article. Uh, let me see. It says, uh, but what about content that wasn't quite bad enough to be deleted? Like alleged conspiracies or dubious information that doesn't advocate violence or promote dangerous remedies or cures or otherwise explicitly violate, con uh, policy, violate policies. Those videos will be removed by moderators or the content blocking AI. And yet, some executive wondered if they were complicit uh, by promoting them at all. We noticed that some people were watching things that we weren't happy with them watching. That's a smoking gun. He says, we, <laughs> we noticed some, that some people were watching things that we weren't happy with them watching. Johanna Wright, one of the YouTube vice presidents, product management, like flat earth videos. This is what executives began call, calling borderline content. It's near the policy, but not against our policies. And really, if some, some you know, guy in bumfuck Idaho thinks that the earth is flat and wants to tell people that the earth is flat. How does that constitute him to be shut down? It shouldn't. But they weren't happy with what people were watching. They're not happy that you have a lot of men of color. or Because color really doesn't matter. It's about the spirit. They're not happy that you have people proclaiming to be the, the children of Israel. Proclaiming to be the children of the promise and that only we can ob obtain salvation and that only we can participate in this glorious salvation that is, is soon to come. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. They're not happy with the people watching those type of videos, this type of video. So they had to put an end to it. This is why YouTube is now watered down. This is why you can't get the same information that you could 10 years ago. This is uh, Proverbs 4 and 5. It says, uh, get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Decline. That's not. Socket. 4 and 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. So while this word is available, you need to be soaking it in. Taking in everything that you can internalizing it because it's not always going to be available it's not always going to be here for you these channels can be taken down like Donald Trump's tweets in an instant channel gone all the content look at the apostles all the pages that they've gone through all the the different lessons that have been lost but guess what that was through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Because it was for whoever got that information. And if you didn't get it, it wasn't for you. So I'm going to leave you with that. Wisdom is the principal thing. 
therefore get wisdom. And we're all like getting, get understanding. And we have all praise, honor, glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakar Kadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are doing in truth and sincerity, and the women, children, and confusion of faith that follow. Shalom.